Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a vlog. Um, today, I basically got ready for the first time in like a week, and I'm gonna go out to Berkeley, which is about an hour away from where we live, and I'm gonna check out some of the outlets. So there's like this specific one, it's a furniture store called Serena and Lily. So like nice, but expensive. So I wanted to see if the outlet has some of the stuff I've had my eye on lately, but for a good deal because your girl is on top of those and I'm hoping that I find some stuff I like. So I wanted to bring you guys along. Um, but yeah, right now it's like 10 a.m. and I just walked the dogs and oh, it's hyper. <laughs> Look how pretty. So I made this bouquet if you follow me on Instagram. Um, Trader Joe's has really, really cheap, cute, beautiful flowers and they're constantly changing their assortment based on like the season. Right now it's tulip season, so they have two dozen tulips for I think $11. And then I just added like other complimentary balloons that were like three bucks a bundle. And so I ended up being like under $20 to make this bouquet and it's on its fourth day now. And it looks, hi Jasper. Oh, it looks really good. And I love having little flowers and plants around the house. I feel like it definitely adds a little bit of life to the apartment. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. High five. High five. Oh, good boy. High five. Oh, good job, Jasper. I get a lot of questions on what breed Bo is. If you're interested, he is Shiba Inu, American Eskimo mix. We recently found that out because we were told he's Pomeranian and then he ended up growing a lot larger than any other Pomeranian we've seen. So he is American Eskimo and Sheba, and he acts like a Sheba. Very much so. He's very smart but stubborn. And then Jasper is full corgi. Yes, you are. Oh, baby. I love you guys. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to leave. Oh, how can I leave these cute faces? All right, I'll be back in just a couple. Oh, my gosh. The cat. So the today's outfit of the day. This <laughs> was that. I got these jeans from Abercrombie and Fitch. Actually, they had a jean sale, and I was like, why not? Why not check it out? And I love them. They fit so well, and I like how they have the short option because I have short legs, and usually like they're super super long. But these are at a nice length. I might cut them like a tiny bit, but I really like the two tone denim. Going down the middle, and then this top is in my recent haul. This is Princess Polly. I love the little straps. And then this purse is also from Princess Polly. And I got my black hoops, or black hoops. And then I got my gold hoops, and then my Adidas Continentals. So pretty casual, but yeah, double OTD. All right, so. We are taking Brendan's car today. It's his soccer mom car. And I have enough trunk space to actually buy some stuff if I find anything. And Bonnie the Beamer is over there, but she's she's too small for this trip. So wish me luck, because I'm not used to driving this car. I have driven it a lot before, but it's been a while. So, all right, off to Berkeley we go. All right, walking over, I parked like blocks away because I thought parking would be hard to find. I was literally parking for the store. Um, but our walk-in and it's right here. Snow Allegra! Snow Allegra, 
if you don't know, now you know. I put you on. She's amazing. It's not that I don't want you here. Yeah, yeah. It's something about the way you sit in my eyes. I know that I don't make things clear. Another jam by Snow Allegra. So the other one was Want You Around. This one is Time. Great song. So when I went to Serena and Lily, I felt so out of place because I felt like everyone there could have been on like the Real Housewives of Orange County or something. Just everyone was like older conversations with just like, oh, my husband and I are going to Bermuda. And like, oh, when are you going to Paris? Or, oh, how was your trip to Milan? And I'm just like, Ugh. but it was really the great deals like I was pleasantly surprised Serena Lily has a ton of cute Ooh. Aww. hi 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 <laughs> look at his face he's so cute oh there's Jasper hi guys Whoa. <laughs> hi so Serena and Lily had a bunch of cute stuff I honestly got like overwhelmed because there was so much stuff and I couldn't like get any heavy furniture um, things because it was just me. So I ended up getting just a couple bedding things, which were really great deals. They were like, I found this quilt that was I think 300 or $400 like online right now. And I found the same one like new and everything uh, for like 75 bucks, which for a nice quilt is like pretty, pretty good price. But especially for like something that's already being retailed at that much, it's kind of ridiculous, but. Um, you never find me buying a $400 quilt unless it was at least like less than $100. So I was pretty happy about that. And then there's a ton of cute stuff like console tables and like dressers and chairs. But I just didn't have like the strength by myself to carry it all out. And so I'll probably end up coming back or going back next week or in the next couple of weeks because they have new stuff coming in all the time. Um, but it was really cool. I had like kind of... I was just overwhelmed. There was just a lot of stuff and I think I would want to go with a friend next time to kind of help me figure out like what it is that I really want because I was just like, oh, that's cute. That's cute too. And I walked the store at least like 20 times and I only ended up getting bedding. But I'm not going to buy anything unless I really, really love it. So I'm glad I only bought those things. Um, but I am going to go back. All right. So I just got done eating some lunch. And I was going to doodle for a bit, and I wanted to share with you guys the different things that I do and use to stay creative. I guess I mentioned in a recent video about my New Year's resolutions, and one of them was that I wanted to start being more into, like, painting and drawing and just, like, trying out different art things and getting back into, like, sketching and um, all that because that's one of my favorite things to do. It's just, like... I don't always take the time to do it and so I bought a couple like books that have helped me and like supplies so here's a little uh, lowdown I guess of my little setup all right the things I I have to stay creative is I have like the Crayola markers um, I got like the 48 pack or whatever and I have that all in here and then I have a mindfulness coloring book which I've only done like a couple pages of, but they look like that. It's a really good one. And you can just get these really cheap at like Target or whatever. And then I also have these dual brush pens, which is really nice for either coloring or like, like line art or like if you want to do cool lettering and stuff. That's really perfect for that. And then I also like these these are the micron pens which is really perfect for um drawing florals which is what i've been focusing a lot of my time on is practicing how to draw flowers like this and this book is really really awesome and i've learned how to draw almost all of these so far but i really like how um, she breaks things down and her style of art is really cool and it really teaches you how to 
draw a bunch of different types of flowers but also different angles of flowers and once you get the hang of it you can start drawing flowers just from like them being in front of you which is like super cool because I know how to draw tulips and it's cool because I have tulips so if I could take the time to sit down and draw this I would I'm not gonna do it today but I want to before they all fall apart but how pretty are they this is my sketchbook um, these are the first few flowers that I drew from this book. Oh, those are the tulips. So I just use like a number two pencil and I just use that book and then I sketched all of these. So these are some of the sketches that I have done using this book. So I'm practicing different types of flowers, different shadings, and just getting the hang of it, I guess. Um, doing like different angles of the same type of flower. Using both like the stuff from the book, but also looking at pictures online and trying to like use the little lessons within the book to draw. Um, and then this was with the pen, the Micron pen. So I like to use the Micron pens. And then I have a bunch of these like number two pencils. And then this is like my setup I usually do. I have this, it's actually an ashtray, but it's perfect for a little pencil. I have like little rests on the side where you would typically put like a cigarette or a blunt or something <laughs> for a joint, I don't know. <laughs> and um, my little sharpener, very cute, rose gold. So this is basically what I've been using to try to sketch and all of that. I also like activity books. So me and Brendan have this book. It's the Me, You, Us. And it's kind of personal, but basically like there's little prompts. And we did a whole bunch when we first started dating, but then we kind of stopped and they're very inappropriate. So we're not gonna look at those, um, but we still have it and we're gonna start working on it once we have more time we just really don't have much time to do that yet but we will and yeah that's basically what i've been doing to hold myself accountable and try to be productive and creative because taking the time to do this stuff is like meditation to me essentially um so i tried to do that and read and i've been reading a lot more about astrology um, I used to not really be into it at all, but as of lately, I've been like, why do people keep talking about it? Like, it's like so real and true and like the truth to everything. Like, oh, he's like that because he's an Aries, blah, blah, blah. So I started reading about it and now I'm like, wait, this stuff is actually kind of spot on. Like horoscopes, I don't really believe in that as much, but like signs and like your rising and your moon and all of that. But I have been reading a ton, so I'm not like super like clueless about it anymore and it's really interesting um i think it kind of goes hand in hand with my love for like psychology and just human behavior and um i'm all about that so it's interesting to see the astrological side to personalities and all that but yeah all right so these are the astrology books that i have been reading i think this one was the most helpful just for understanding from an absolute zero sense of knowledge for anything as far as astrology goes and then this one is also really a really cool book as far as like specific like libra struggles libra gifts and then does that for like every you know sign and then also um the different houses what they mean um yeah and like you have other signs in different planets like jupiter and um, Venus and things like that and those things mean different things as well so that really is very like breaks it down specific like a bunch of information in this one um, this one is just like a really good coffee table book honestly it's really like aesthetically pleasing it basically talks about the signs and who how they are if like you're a romantic partner with them or if like you're on a first date with them or if like your boss is this sign a sibling is this sign and as far as like their strengths or weaknesses how they may relate to you and what type of communication works best with these types of people, which I think is like interesting. 
And, like, I always keep in mind it's never, like, oh, this is set in stone. Like, I have to think that this person is this way because of their sign. Like, that is not what I'm saying at all. I just think it's funny and interesting when I read something, knowing who, like, like my best friend, for example, I read about her as a Taurus and our compatibility, and I'll be like, that's exactly why we're friends. And, like, if I were to, you know, compare that, those certain strengths and, like, temperaments and, like, habits and things like that to a different person what happens to have a different sign it wouldn't apply and that's when I think it's interesting but when it's like blanket statements and very like oh they are very loving of their family and like they are very sensitive when they get hurt like that's kind of like no duh at the end of the day it's all about how you want to strengthen yourself and a lot of times like CoStar app is a really good app for astrology and it'll say like you know this week you have weaknesses in your work just like be aware of these discrepancies and um, basically work harder than you normally would, which, like, I mean, you shouldn't be doing anyway, but when you see it and you're like, oh, well, I should be proactive. It's things like that where you're, like, working on yourself and you can say it's astrology, you can say it's just in inspirational, motivational quotes almost um, and a little just, like, psychological human psyche you know, how we are, why we are, the way we are, things like that. That's why I like astrology. But at the end of the day, it's not like, oh, I, I won't do that because I'm a Pisces. Like, no. It's just super interesting. And then this last book is not so much about astrology. Whoa, that angle. <laughs> this last book isn't so much about astrology. It's actually just, like, about birthdays, meaning that, like, for example, my birthday is March 16th. And it basically talks about... um the strengths and like who these people are how they are it basically says for example march 16th people are able to combine the imaginative and the practical the inspirational and the down-to-earth into an appealing and realistic attitude which i honestly do think that's applicable to me march 16th people should strive to find an occupation in which they can express both the inspirational and pragmatic aspects of their nature and then it talks about like health and advice and like numbers and tarot and like strengths and weaknesses and what you are like pisces whatever da, 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 da. i think it's really interesting it's kind of a cool conversation starter honestly all right so i showed you guys my little cabinet with my art supplies but i actually have more art supplies in this closet which i'll briefly show you but not like too in depth because it would take forever but this is so messy right now. I can't believe I'm showing you guys. But this is like my little art area in Brendan's closet. So I have like a bunch of more like pens, metallic pens, sketchbooks. I got more books for flower sketching. I just don't want to start these until I finish the other ones. But this one's another good one by the same author. And then I have my paint stuff, I have embossing stuff, brushes, fluid art stuff, canvases, my acrylics, my go-to acrylics are these ones, um, paintings I've done, party supplies, um, but yeah. But yeah, that's like a brief overview of my art collection, kind of a sneak peek of what I've been doing as far as like trying to be more... Um, experimental I guess and practicing more art things so I want to get more like specific um, in vlogs and stuff about like what I do but that's kind of an overview um, let me know if that's of any interest to you I can do like a little sketch with me or just like tutorials or whatever 12 hours later so I finally went out to the car it's eight now um, so a little to the future moment here, but I wanted to show you guys what I got from Serena Lily outlet. So uh, I got these two shams, which are like pillowcases, but a little bit nicer for, um, Euro pillows. So big square pillows. And I looked online to see how much they like normally go for. So this same exact, um, style and size goes for $78 just for one on the site. And I got each of them for 25 so love that and then this quilt for my um bed which is king size so king size quilts are usually pretty expensive and especially serena lily so i looked it up the exact same style online it looks so good but it's 400 dollars, and i got it for 75 so i'm pretty happy with those deals 
Oh my goodness. I'm so tired. I need to eat something and drink a lot of water because I forgot to bring my hydro flask with me. I didn't want to buy a water bottle, so I am parched. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna end this vlog because I already have a lot of footage and I'm not gonna really be doing things the rest of the day. But I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, I need some chapstick. Ooh.